Good morning, kids! Welcome to our class. I am Teacher Frel, your teacher in Math 2, Quarter 4, Week 8. Our lesson for today is about Infers and interprets data presented in a pictograph without and with scales. Kids, are you ready to listen? Let's get started! In this lesson, we are going to learn how to interpret data through pictographs. This is an example of a pictograph. What is pictograph? A pictograph is a graph that uses pictures, drawings, and symbols to represent a number. It represents data. There are three parts of a pictograph. The parts of pictograph are Title It tells what the graph is all about. Legend One box is equivalent to 10 red boxes. It tells the value of each picture or symbol used in the graph. Label it tells the information presented and compared in the graph. So again, the parts of pictograph are This part is Title This part is Legend And this part is Label Look at again this pictograph. It shows how many red boxes are sold every day. Remember, one box is equivalent to 10 red boxes. Let's try to interpret the graph. Question number 1. What is the title of the graph? Very good! The title of this graph is Number of Red Boxes Sold. Question number 2. What does the symbol represent? Correct! The answer is It represents 10 red boxes. Question number 3 How many days are shown in the pictograph? Very good! The answer is It shows 7 days. Question number 4. How many red boxes were sold on Monday? Correct! Let's count the boxes by 10. Remember, one box is equivalent to 10 red boxes. Let's count. 10, 20, 30, 40. So the answer is... 40 red boxes were sold on Monday. Question number 5. How many red boxes were sold on Tuesday? Let's count. 10, 20. So the answer is 20 red boxes were sold on Tuesday. Question number 6. How many red boxes were sold on Wednesday? Let's count. 10, 20, 30. So the answer is 30 red boxes were sold on Wednesday. Question number 7. How many red boxes were sold on Thursday? Let's count. 10, 20, 30, 40, 50. So the answer is 50 red boxes were sold on Thursday. Question number 8. How many red boxes were sold on Friday? Let's count. 10, 20, 30, 40, 50, 60, 70, 80. So the answer is 
80 red boxes were sold on Friday. Question number 9. How many red boxes were sold on Saturday? Let's count! So on Saturday, there is only one box. So this is equivalent to 10 red boxes. So the answer is 10 red boxes were sold on Saturday. Question number 10. Which day has the most number of sold boxes? Very good! The answer is Friday. Question number 11. Which day has the least number of sold boxes? Very good! The answer is Saturday. What is the total number of sold boxes in 7 days? Very good! Let's count by 10. 10, 20, 30, 40, 50, 60, 70, 80, 90, 100, 110, 120, 130, 140, 150, 160, 170, 180, 190, 200, 210, 220, 230. So the total is 230 red boxes sold. Interpret the given pictograph by answering the following questions. Legend. Each person represents five pupils. Question number one. What is the title of the graph? Very good! The answer is pupils who joined the field trip. Question number two. What does each symbol mean? Very good! The answer is each symbol represents five pupils. Question number three. How many pupils joined each grade? Let's count the pupils in grade one. How many pupils joined the field trip? Let's count by 5. Very good! There are 45 pupils who joined the field trip. How about in grade 2? How many pupils? Correct! There were 30 pupils who joined the field trip. How about in grade 3? How many pupils joined the field trip? Very good! There were 25 pupils who joined the field trip. In grade 4, how many pupils? Very good! There were 35 pupils who joined the field trip. In grade 5, how many pupils? Very good! There were 50 pupils who joined the field trip. What about in grade 6? Very good! There were 40 pupils who joined the field trip. Question number 4. Which grade has the most number who joined the field trip? Very good! The answer is grade 5. Question number 5. Which grade has the least number who joined the field trip? Very good! The answer is grade 3. Question number 6. How many pupils in all joined the field trip? Correct! There were 225 pupils who joined the field trip. Remember, a pictograph is a graph that uses pictures, drawings, and symbols to represent a number. It represents data. 
there are three parts of pictograph. Number one is the title. It tells what the graph is all about. Number two is the legend. It tells the value of each picture or symbol used in the graph. And number three is the label. It tells the information presented and compared in the graph. Kids, did you understand our topic for today? Very good! So again, what was our topic today? Correct! It's about infers and interprets data presented in a pictograph without and with scales. So kids, I hope you learned a lot from our lesson. Until our next topic, bye-bye kids!